This video shows the proper procedure for maintaining your Fisher T200 series regulator. Before performing the following steps, release all pressure to the diaphragm casing. Please refer to the shutdown portion of the T200 video series for proper shutdown procedure. Maintenance for the T200 series can be performed in line or with the regulator removed from the line. In this video, maintenance is performed with the regulator removed for better visual representation. For this operation, you will need the following. 7 16th combination wrench. 1 and 3 quarters combination wrench. 7 8 socket, socket wrench, screwdriver, and lubricant. First, remove cap screws and separate the diaphragm casing from the body. Remove and inspect the body seal o-ring. Look for rips, tears, or cuts to the o-ring. Replace if damaged. Remove and inspect the backup ring. Look for scratches, nicks, or damage. Using 7 8 inch socket and socket wrench, inspect and replace the orifice if necessary. Look for scratches, nicks, or other damage to the surface. Ensure the orifice seating surface is not damaged throughout the assembly and disassembly process. Lubricate threads and install with 340 to 370 inch pounds of torque. Lubricate and reinstall backup ring. Lubricate and reinstall body seal O-ring. For the Fisher Type T208, remove the back body cap. Remove spring and replace if necessary. Remove the disc assembly from the spacer and replace if necessary. Reinstall disc assembly and spring. Reinstall back body cap. For Fisher types T205 and T205B, remove the cotter pin. Inspect disc assembly and replace if necessary. For internal sensing units, inspect pitot tube. Remove pitot tube machine screws. Install new pitot tube and position so tube points into the outlet of the body by rotating the guide insert. Secure the pitot tube with the pitot tube machine screws using 14 to 19 inch pounds of torque. For internal flat circular adjusting screw, using one and three quarters combination wrench, remove the closing cap and closing cap gasket. For external square head adjusting screw, loosen the lock nut. Turn the adjusting screw counterclockwise and remove. Take out control spring and replace with desired spring. For external adjusting screw, remove the adjusting screw and lock nut. Remove the closing cap, closing cap gasket, and upper spring seat. Take out control spring and replace with desired spring. If the only maintenance to be performed is a change in control spring, reinstall control spring, adjusting screw, and closing cap. If further maintenance is required, using 7 16th combination wrench, remove hex nuts and spring case cap screws.
Remove the diaphragm and attached parts. Tilt them so that the pusher post slips off lever assembly. Unscrew the diaphragm cap screws and remove parts from pusher post. Check diaphragm for rips, tears, cuts, or other damage. Replace if necessary. Place diaphragm assembly parts on the pusher post in the following order. Always use a new diaphragm head gasket. Diaphragm head gasket. Diaphragm head. Diaphragm. Diaphragm head. Lower spring seat washer, diaphragm cap, secure diaphragm cap screw with 60 to 72 inch pounds of torque. To replace the lever assembly, remove the machine screws. For the Fisher Type T205B, remove the trim assembly. Remove the cotter pin. Remove bias spring seat. Remove bias spring. Pull stem out of the guide insert. Apply a moderate coating of lubricant to the stem stem seal o-ring and two backup rings, then lubricate and install the stem into the valve stem. Reinstall bias spring. Reinstall bias spring seat. Secure with cotter pin. Use pliers to bend the cotter pin after insertion. Remove stem. Remove guide insert. Lubricate and reinstall guide insert. Lubricate and reinstall stem. Install the lever assembly into the stem and secure with machine screws. Install the pusher post and attached parts onto the lever. Install the spring case on the lower casing so that the vent assembly is correctly oriented and using a 7 combination wrench, tighten in a crisscross pattern the spring case cap screws and hex nuts to 90 to 126 inch pounds of torque. For flat, circular adjusting screw, install the control spring, then the adjusting screw. Install closing cap. For external square head adjusting screw, install in the following order. Control spring, upper spring seat, closing cap gasket, closing cap lock nut, adjusting screw. Install the disc assembly to stem, 
and secure with cotter pin, bending as shown. Place the diaphragm casing on the body and secure with cap screws using 90 to 126 inch pounds of torque. Thank you for choosing Fisher Regulator Technologies. Please refer to product bulletins, instruction manuals, and the rest of the T200 video series for more information.